What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be going over the Necromancer class in Diablo 4. Now I do have to note guys that there's not a lot of information on the Necromancer as opposed to some of the other classes like the Barbarian, the Rogue, and the Sorceress. But just keep that in mind guys, but let's dive right in. So I'm really happy that they brought the Necromancer back as opposed to some of the other class choices that they could have made in Diablo 4. It's been a fan favorite throughout the community for years and I'm so happy that it's back. So let's talk about some of the class features for the necromancer the necromancer has two different kinds of resources that they use which is essence and corpse essence is their primary resource which re restores very very slow and then you have corpses guys which on the other hand uh, the leftover remains of enemies that you end up killed you can use those to summon skeletons or use other powers that the necromancer has this is stuff that we've used in the past so it's really really cool that they kept the theme and didn't really change it too much now as far as weapon choices for the necromancer they're going to be able to use swords daggers wands uh focuses and shields plus they're the only class that can use size still guys no other class can use size which is just a staple of the necromancer so just keep that in mind nothing has really changed so far with that in going into diablo 4. now let's talk about play styles when it comes to the necromancer in diablo 4 they've kind of changed it in from diablo 3 and diablo 2 we kind of seen a few different kind of play choices with blood poison you know uh minions and all that so what the four we have here are bone darkness blood and then army so let's go over each one starting off guys we have bone bone skills are relatively physical in nature and thus provide heavily from uh, more attacks such as critical strikes these skills often benefit from having spending a large amount of essence as they have various effects that can cause each other individual attacks to be even more powerful you have things like bone prison which when the player casts bone prison that's back it's going to cause a big huge effect on the screen which is going to encase enemies in there and they're going to be just kind of prisoned in they're not going to be able to move this is great for crowd control as well as just blocking off doors or hallways and stuff like that to provide you a little bit of mobility with the necromancer moving on to their next one is darkness guys darkness skills use shadow magic to overwhelm their enemies these kind of attacks tend to be damage over time or dot based attacks uh in a short window but they do have massive rewards when you're using them okay you have decompose is a basic darkness skill that allows you to channel dark magic onto enemies and deal damage to them also while generating essence so as even though it's not as powerful as let's say a bone skill it's still very very strong and a unique kind of play style which is just kind of cool another one is blight blight launches a dark ball of energy in the direction hitting them and dealing a big explosion of damage leaving behind a defiled area so these skills are really really cool for a darkness uh, kind of skill set this is new to the necromancer so this isn't anything that we've really seen before maybe they've kind of switched it over from poison but darkness seems really really cool their third one is blood now we're not we're not you know we're familiar with blood magic we have that in the last one in diablo 3 but blood is necromancers can use the power of blood magic to siphon life from their enemies not only do they have tend to have defensive oriented benefits but they have many ways to turn that defense into offense for the player for example is blood mist you know upon activation the necromancer disperses into a bloody mist becoming temporarily immune to all damage and the life while draining life of any nearby enemy that they pass through this is such a unique defensive skill to have now normally you have the one where you just can kind of move through enemies freely but to be able to have a defensive skill that also can gain you back life is just really really cool for blood magic the last one is army and as we'd expect the necromancer always gets its undead minions which includes your classic skeletons as well as some of the golems among some other minions that we may not have got a glimpse at guys but one of the methods of playing uh the army type skill set is that you get to incorporate all the benefits from the other three um it's kind of skill sets of a bone darkness and blood which gives you a wide variety of uh, skill set with the minions and it's just a classic build for the necromancer dating all the way back to diablo 2 so using these different skill sets is just great with all of the minions you can use the rise skeleton button to is a one-stop shop to raise all the different skeletons a player can summon as well as the golem that can be used on command to just do a big a massive amounts of damage which you see in the gameplay guys with the army setup guys there's a great balance between using all of the skills and it only takes up a couple buttons on the hot bar so that way you can use other buttons for other skills and defense abilities that you want to use 
Now let's get on to a topic that's very interesting is the Book of the Dead skills for the uh, Necromancer. It's their unique ability for Diablo 4, so let's take a look. Book of the Dead is the Necromancer's unique class mechanic, guys. Right from the moment you log in, you're gonna have an extra skill slot on your bar for raised skeleton. With this button, you'll immediately be able to raise undead warriors to fight by your side. In addition, you'll have access to the full Book of the Dead. This is the space where you can customize your army with increasing options as you level up your character. There are three customizable summons in the space for the Book of the Dead, which is Skeleton Warrior, Skeleton Mages, and then Golems. Each summon has a specialization that you can choose from. As an example, you can have the Skeleton Warriors be Skirmishers, Defenders, or Reapers. Skirmishers are more standard warriors with increased damage and reduced health. Defenders have a bonus health where Reapers have slower attacks but deal damage in an AoE as opposed to just one-on-one -on -one targets. So you have all these specializations for your undead army, which is really, really cool and just gives you a different functionality for any kind of play style that you're into for the Necromancer. Overall, guys, I'm very, very excited about using the Necromancer in Diablo 4. I cannot wait to get more information from Blizzard about the Necromancer. It, it it's kind of unfortunate that we don't have a whole lot of information on the Necromancer and the Druid class because they came out so much later than the Barbarian, the Rogue, and the Sorceress, but we do have some uh, nits and tidbits of the Necromancer, which is great. I think this is plenty of information to go off of, and I just think that the Necromancer is just going to be so fun. I, I think it's going to be one of the most customizable classes for your own personal playstyle coming to Diablo 4. All the minions seem really, really cool, and I'm very, very excited to use it. So like the video if the, this has really helped you out, guys, and comment down below what your thoughts are on the Necromancer coming in Diablo 4. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.